Friday, May 29th, 2015. Can we be reasonable? Many people, not practiced in logic, fear that a logical society would function like a bunch of merciless machines, not hesitating to sacrifice kindness and lives both for the sake of the group. They see logic as the antithesis to sympathy. But they do so wrongly. Sympathy is actually a logical ability. To imagine yourself in the position of another person, even to the extent of having similar limitations, and to recognize the validity of their misery. That you could be suffering equally so, if misfortune struck for you. So, stands before us the question of whether a society can be logical. Can the average person, and thus the majority of people, act in a consistently logical manner? The evidence against such a society is clear. Philosophy and logic have been around for thousands of years, yet even now, in the age of computers and internet, most people are entirely oblivious to logical fallacies and how to compose a falsifiable argument. Rhetoric and politics are more powerful than ever in the global arena. The evidence for a logical society may be less distinct, albeit still encouraging. The internet is very new and already showing great influences over large chunks of the public in many countries. Lies and rhetoric are better marked and avoided and exposure to logic is increasing. Also, the contradiction between technologically possible lifestyles which are evident in well-off populations and the actual daily lives of most people make it impossible for people not to see the injustice and stupidity systematically inherent to their society. Do you see a near future, even for the next generations, where it is common practice for societies to be logical and just?